Hi, I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. And today we are coming to you from Sirius XM Satellite Radio in New York City. And my very special guest today is Maxine Bedat. That's correct. Right. And uh, she's co-founder of Zadie.com, also the founder of the Bootstrap Project. And uh, her main mission in life, it seems, is to <laughs> promote conscious consumerism, a movement mm -hmm. to fight the end of poverty, That's if correct. I summarize it. Mm -hmm. So I always like to start from the beginning. So where did you grow up? What's your story? <laughs> I grew up in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, and I grew up with Soraya, my co-founder, mm -hmm. although my family comes from South Africa. So I think mm -hmm. um, Soraya's family also is international. So Correct. in this sea of tall blondes. It's the future of America. <laughs> That's right. We were, we were these brunettes that kind of stood out. Mm -hmm. And so we bonded over that. And um, I think having grown up in Minnesota, which is definitely the heartland of America, but with an international perspective from my parents, um, I could both feel like an outsider, but very much feel like an insider and feel truly American. So it mm -hmm. is, you know, as you said, that real American experience. Right. And then you connected with Sura over Facebook, huh? Yeah, we connected over Facebook, and we were just admiring what and one another was doing, having been friends uh, in high school and sort of keeping tabs on one another. And I you was, went to high school in Minnesota? I went to high school in Minnesota. You went to college there? or No, I went just... to college in New York. I mm -hmm. went to Barnard. Uh -huh. in New York City. And what was your interest in college? I was interested in international relations and human mm -hmm. rights. So that was always my focus. After college, I went straight to work at the United Nations, um, was working in the development group there. Um, but I wanted to feel a little bit more connected to real people. I felt that it was a wonderful opportunity working in New York at the General Assembly to kind of have high-level policy, but I always just wanted to know what real people issues were. Uh, so then I went to work at another NGO. Um, and then finally, when I was um, back in law school, I was working at the Rwandan Criminal Tribunal mm -hmm. in Tanzania. And it was the first opportunity that I had to really kind of, I spent my weekends there going to visit markets. And that was my first actually speaking to real people. Um, and I while you were a law school student? While I was a law school student, yeah. So I spent my days in the courthouse working to prosecute the genocide heirs of the Rwandan um, genocide. And in the weekends, I would go walk around markets. And I just met these incredible people. And it was the first time that I... Yeah. So market, what do you mean by market? So, um, like the, the local village market where people would sell fruits or they would sell baskets. Where? Uh, in, um, in Arusha, in Tanzania. Really? Yeah, oh. yeah. 